Hello, this is First Fire Non-Assault Move. Welcome back to the 15th video in the War in the East series. Let's get a situation report for Army Group North and what their object objectives will be. Finns, no change. Leningrad, no change. The they continue the Soviets continue to concentrate and amass formations here and as predicted they are making their way down the rail lines to feed into the front. For every Soviet division we rout or shatter or maul uh, two or three fresh divisions come in and take its place. So a little discouraging there. Not going to continue the attack along this part of the front. Give these infantry divisions a breather. I may pull one or two back and start to think of uh, refitting them. Peskov, no change. There's a little gap here. Not too concerned. Our aerial recon doesn't show any buildups. And in order to uh, get the 3 to 1, 4 to 1 odds, this, or, or numerically the 3 to 4 to 1 odds the Soviets have uh, done in the past with their attacks, I don't see that happening here. All right. What's going to change for Army Group North is we are going to put a pause X on all uh, advances east because it's not going to accomplish anything. The Soviets are just, you know, taking the blows, absorbing them, and then just replacing whatever we route or shatter with fresh divisions. And strategically, it's not going to do anything for us by continuing to attack in this sector. So what we're going to do is dress our lines and probably pull at least one infantry corps and shuffle more than likely instead of just pulling out completely and moving it. We'll just shuffle the lines and the end result will be we'll start to strengthen uh, this northern shoulder of Army Group Center. Army Group Center. All right. Uh, Soviets massed up and made those attacks, like they, those handful of attacks they do each turn of theirs. We have a relatively fresh, fresh Panzer Corps here, so the plan is to nip this little uh, push of the Soviets uh, in the bud before it gets to any, uh, cause any more further concern. So this Panzer Corps, who are who is it here? The 24th is more or less going to be that fire brigade, that quick reaction force in this area of operations for Army Group Center. All right. So concerning this gap here and the pressure the Soviets are really putting on us here, uh, trying to counter our encirclement that we're trying to accomplish. Finally, reinforcements are going to arrive in the nick of time. Uh, they're not to cavalry, but you know, oh, they are so, so uh, eagerly anticipated and awaited for. So we're gonna we're gonna use them to stiffen this sector, which we'll see if they can actually make it. It's just a miraculous come to save the day. All right. So, what does that mean for our attacking force? We're running out of steam due to fuel and stretched lines, and our infantry has been at it for the past month or so. Heavy, heavy attacks. Uh, we have the die is cast. Uh, there's no turning back now. We are going to continue with this effort to get this encirclement. The Soviets. Not surprisingly, just have an endless supply of troops to, you know, this rubber band elastic line of theirs just to defend in depth wherever it is. Um, it's keeping them from really massing and counterattacking, but it's also really blunting our our attacks and breakthroughs. So 
so we're just going to carry on. Uh, and either way, it's going to shorten our lines, and this bend is going to be gone. And if we don't have a grand encirclement, it will at least be some kind of encirclement. And rather than trading blows with the Soviets in these single attacks, we, we need to get an encirclement and destroy them en masse with the least amount of effort and losses on our part. I think the most progress will be down here with Army Group South making the progress north and east. Uh, they do have a number of obstructions in front of us though. This this mass of Soviet formations are... We're going to uh, just bypass them and try to get an encirclement actually of these, like a, an encirclement within an encirclement. Because I think we have the troops to do that because we have uh, a strong concentration of our own forces here with Army Group South. But fuel is going to be an issue. 14, 19, and 25. These tanks aren't going to get far north and east and they still have to attack. So it's going to be more than likely relying on our infantry again we will not seal the pocket this turn but maybe next week we will have almost gotten there the soviets are going to continue to try and batter batter us along these lines and they did make a counterattack here they counterattacked one of our motorized divisions uh, maybe it wasn't this part of the front. Anyways, the concern still is they'll put pressure on the flanks, but we have reinforcements coming. All right, let's move down and look at Army Group South in more detail. Once this encirclement either wildly successful or partially successful at least it's going to free up these divisions of ours and going to straighten the line out a whole bunch and that will allow us to def to be able to concentrate our own forces much better than we are now and that will allow us to uh, conduct offensives more uh, efficiently and with more combat power right now it's just uh, it's just uh, we just don't have enough combat power to apply in the places we want to attack and that's largely due to, to the fuel and our stretch lines alright so their objective to try and close the pocket from the south moving along this part of the front no change hold in place attack where we can keep the pressure on the Soviets and cause some losses and damage, making sure that it's uh, to our advantage. No equal trade-offs. Continue to rough up these Soviet tank divisions. They're, they're by themselves, and we did some damage earlier. And now the mass of the Romanians... I know, watch out, Russians. The, the Romanians are on the loose now. Well, they're going to be a big help to at least hold more of this sector and free up 11th army to to push back more firmly around Nepro petrovsk and that's about it we'll see how it goes uh, i like my chances to at least accomplish some form of an encirclement here and i like our chances of holding out and it's kind of uh, exciting to see what happens along this line what the Soviets do. All right, and I'll do the moves off camera and I will be back. All right, we are back. So let's get the situation report. Army Group North, no change fins. Conducted no attacks here along this sector of Army Group North. Same holds true in the Peskov sector, no attacks. We reconstituted and dressed our lines in this sector of Army Group North where we have been conducting 
attacks over the past oh, three to four weeks. And the front was quiet. What we did do is pull out the 56th Panzer Division, uh, Panzer Corps, to start refitting. Get them out of this terrain. There's no point advancing and attacking through here. We also pulled out a couple of infantry divisions to start refitting. And we just pretty much tidied up and did some organization along Army Group North's southernmost sector. No change here on as we start on the northern flank of Army Group Center. Our reinforcements have been have made it about this close. Um, unfortunately, they haven't made it to the line yet, but next turn they should be uh, able to do that uh, in anticipation of any pressure here along this northern shoulder. Uh, so yeah, that's great news. They made it in. We did some limited attacks just to push back uh, the Soviets from being adjacent to us to make them come back and get in contact, expend movements to, uh, you know, just to disrupt them and keep them honest. So I am not, I, I like this line right now and it's going to get even better with more reinforcements have being reattached to some core headquarters. We shifted down our quick reaction force, the 24th Panzer Corps, a little south where this danger area was starting to um, to rear its ugly head. And this is where it's going to get extended even more. So, again, more reinforcements. Uh, well, actually, these weren't reinforcements. We took this 5th uh, Corps and we reassigned some divisions to uh, reconstitute this corps. And they are also going to serve as a quick reaction, if anything, any shenanigans here with the Russians, uh, we will plug those gaps. And the big news. All right. This is the extent of our attack uh, with the northernmost pincer of the encirclement, the pending encirclement. Didn't get as far as we'd like. We caused a whole bunch of routes. Uh, again, just totally limited by fuel and the exhaustion of our infantry but it could have been better. It could have been, it could have been worse. It's, uh, I think it's adequate for what we're trying to achieve. Soviets have nothing in front of us. They have those forces that, you know, continue to cling to our flanks and accumulate along our flanks. But if we can survive and not get into any danger over the next couple of weeks, that threat will be gone, gone away because we will have accomplished our encirclement, our grand encirclement. Uh, I don't know if it's that grand, but it's grander than any since the first couple of the weeks of the war. The stretched to the limit with our infantry just holding the outside of the forming pocket. And moving down into Army Group South, this is what we are able to accomplish. We pushed this uh, mass of Soviet formations uh, north and east a little bit just to give us more of a corridor to rush as many forces as we can up to the pinnacle of the uh, southernmost pincer. And that's how it's looking right now. Again, a lot of attacks. Lots and lots of attacks. Uh, well, I guess is more movement than attacks. Uh, just shaping this, just forcing these divisions uh, out of the way and getting them a little more east and north so that they will fall within the pocket. Yes, indeed. Oh, yes. Stretching uh, again, economy of force, just holding the line. I can't wait till these lines are dressed and oh, not these rubber band pretzel shaped uh, 
front that we have right now. Same holds true on the southern flank, just stretching thin. And we did our localized attacks like last time all along the front, trying to rough up and uh, attrit to our advantage the Soviet tank divisions that are down there, causing uh, as many tank losses as we can, forcing those factories to work overtime to build new tanks. And finally, 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 Romanians are getting organized and settled in to the front and they were going to take a lot of pressure off. I expect them to to hold along the Dnieper, the west side of the Dnieper, probably up to Netropetrovsk. And we're pushing them back. We're pushing them back. We're making we're inching our way to these two industrial cities. And that is the situation report in a nutshell. I'm going to go check for the 15th time if I've missed anything. And then we're going to click next turn, just like that. I am really eager to get to the next week and see if we can accomplish this. All right, so if you're ready, I'm ready. This is going to be very, get your popcorn, very compelling to see what the Soviets do. Or it could be very anticlimactic, or it could be disastrous. What do they have up their sleeves? Let's see. Do they retreat? Do they hold in place? Do they do a combination? And where are they going to mass next to attack? Probably around Aurel. I see where they could do that. Looks like they're starting to retreat. Yep. Yep. Trying to retreat as quickly as possible. Oh, I hope. I hope they don't. You will not get away. It's just huge right now. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Look at that. Look how far they got. Amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sixty miles. In contact, they withdrew sixty miles. Yep. Yeah, okay. Not unexpected held out nice yeah Aurel I kind of predicted that held out okay that's good that's very good you attack there now you are going to definitely be encircled All right, they're they're trying to pressure, 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 pressure. I don't want to say this to the Romanians, but I kind of bait the Soviets by putting the Romanians up there, so that they'll attack them instead of our Germans. Oh, I didn't expect them to attack from the south, southern flank of Army Group Center's pincer. I didn't expect that.
Is that it? Did they do enough? Will they get away? No, they're still going. Ooh. I don't like that they attacked Army Group South's flank. Do not like that. was it can we pull it off can we pull it off very exciting I cannot wait till this next week which would think is the last week of September You know, so much depends on the fuel, too. So much depends on the fuel. 23. A lot less tank losses. 23,000. That's about... I think we're in that range consistently almost every turn. Oof. Oof. The Soviets didn't attack that much this turn. Oh, wow. Enough losses, though. That got it. What gets me is the amount of guns that we lose each turn. Don't think they consider machine guns as guns. Because I can't imagine losing that many... AT, AT anti tank guns, field guns, artillery each week. Yeah. Lost 4,493 guns total. We lost 1,000 tanks. Hmm. To the Soviets. 12,000. Hmm. Not bad, not bad. All right. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Does this mean mud? To be honest with you, <laughs> to be honest with you I don't think I've gotten this far in War in the East I've played it a lot but I seem to get distracted and go play other games but I'm really excited to see these new things along with you <laughs> I think that's mud or it's foliage I don't think it's foliage It just, can you get more details on the hex? No. I'll find out, get more details what these, uh, these map, um, legends, the legend of the map, what the brown stain is. I think it's mud. <laughs> just in time, Soviets. Are you going to get out of dot? Are you going to, oh, of course, of course, of course. Uh, why wouldn't there be mud? Exact moment that we are going to do this. Hmm. All right. I'm going to do some aero recon after. And, well, I hope you enjoyed. This is kind of, uh, kind of exciting. Oh. Oh. It is the mud. Look what it did to our armor. Saved by the mud? 
Oh, God. Yeah, I guess I know the title of the video. Oh, man. Uh, I'll cry off camera. And I'll, I'll try to compose myself. <laughs> oh, dear God. Wow. Partisans again. Hmm. You just move next to them and they get on a rail? I don't think so. Uh, access rail. Okay, that's good. Good news and bad news. I know it couldn't have all been good news. Look at this band of mud. Of course, has to be exactly where we are attempting to do something significant. And our tanks, let alone don't have fuel, uh, their treads are full of mud. All right, I'll stop. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I'm having a blast playing, playing this game. And I will catch you later. This is First Fire Non-Assault Move out.